your progressive congress apc professionals forum has appealed to opposition parties not to proceed to the supreme court over wednesday's judgment of the presidential election petition court isa yuguda the chairman board of trustees of the forum said that said this at a news conference on friday in abuja according to his words he said we have taken notice of the separate and almost simultaneous press conference addressed by the presidential candidates of the two main opposition parties atiku abubakar and peter obi while we concede that it is within the rights of the petitioners to proceed to the supreme court we appeal to them to spare the country from further polarization of the citizen and heating up the polity with another round of white goose cheese spiced with fake news and unverifiable claims for us we believe it is time for them to accept the verdict of nigerians as affirmed by the tribunal he stated mr yuguda said there was need for nigerians to join hands in supporting the government of mr tinubu on his renewed hope agenda of moving the country to development he said that no personal interest or ambition should be more important than the collective interest of nigerians for democratic deliverables mr yuguda congratulated mr tinubu on all he had done in his first 100 days in office wow what he did hmm. he said we are all seeing what he has been doing in india on the sidelines of the g20 meeting and are proud of him and his team and um, party faithful and a forum uh, of technocrats and professionals in the apc we congratulate sinumbu and vice president kashim shetima on the affirmation of the february 25 2023 electoral victory by the presidential election petition tribunal he described the tribunal judgment as an attestation of the credibility of the presidential election saying as far the forum was concerned it had put to rest all the false narratives about the electoral process mr yuguda added that the tribunal judgment also vindicated the forum stance that the presidential election was the best in the country's modern history considering how it shook its political landscape he said that the task ahead of mr tinubu was an akulian one that required a focused and dedicated leadership to meet the yearnings of nigerians he said the forum had no doubt that the president had all it took to deliver on the apc campaign promises this he said was especially because his capacity had been proven over time in his private and public careers adding that he had also demonstrated enough courage to take tough but wise decisions for the good of all Mr. Yuguda assured that the group would continue in engagement, its engagement with heads of governments, agencies, and key policy makers. He added that the forum would also continue to enlighten Nigerians on government efforts at delivering on APC manifesto and campaign promises. Wow. You know, the first thing I really want to say concerning what these guys are saying is that, uh, or what they have said is that, that uh, Nigerians can really see what the world has done in hundred days. Maybe you, millions of Nigerians, are not going to be saying the same thing. Even those who voted for Tinubu, those of them who voted for him, they cannot be telling you that in his hundred days that they are okay with his policies. Which policies in private sector and where? This is the same. This is the same uh, propaganda you guys are even uh, selling out there. His hundred days was a day. It was was disastrous. Hundred days was a was a, a, a danger to the nigerian people yes the tribunal can say whatever they want to say so it is not you people that will be telling nigerians how they need to feel but we have some people who are suffering and smiling millions of people are, are dying of hunger we see or we all are witnesses to the, the judgment of a hibori oh my goodness how many counts charged against him they threw all of them into the lagoon and they said Ibori was clean and clear, nothing. Everybody say, really? We saw everything, no? They say, really? They say, yes, nothing they happen. They are the ones who, is in, who, are, who are in control. Now, Tokuna do, eh? Ogidibo, Ibori, that's the title of a... What's this man's name? Ibori. All the allegations, all the charges, they threw all of them. They say, 
you know, it has a very clean slate. And Nigeria say, really, for this country? But as God, we have it. So what is a nonsense judgment that you they, they are just bringing out there? We know what they are up, all, uh, what they are up to. At the end of the day, when he, they grab a bury for UK, mm -hmm. the rest is history. We know what happened. All the allegations. I will, I'm always making reference to it. And if that one alone, they were so happy. They were jubilating when they discharged and acquitted it. Um, he worried that uh, he was free of uh, any manner of allegations and all of that. He was jubilating, he was feeling big, li living larger than life. But at the end of the day, till today now he cannot talk because he's a thief. Of course, he has been sentenced, he, has been, he is a thief. Anybody can say that, we can be able to say that. But when the Nigerian judiciary or the Nigerian judges or whatever, they discharge him. And everybody could see that this was not really... The, how the case supposed to be. So we're not surprised. So you can come and tell us that uh, the court did court did that. But Nigerians, can Nigerians come out and say, oh yes, we, they, they are enjoying or they've enjoyed the 100 days of Sinumbu. Really? What is he doing in, in India now today? All of the meetings and what have you that uh, Sinumbu or Bwari was going at the end of the day, what did we see at the end of the day? You guys are working with them, so you are psycho fans. You know what you are going to gain from them. So of course it's not a uh, it is expected that this kind of a thing will be coming from you people. Mm. Yet, the tribunal judges have shown in all ramifications that they are on the same ship with Tifnumbu and his gang of criminals. Hence, the only way to keep Nigeria together is heading to Supreme Court to respond the doomsday. If not, we've no, we have no other option than to shut nigeria down that is uh, somebody's uh, opinion so guys uh, let's say your opinion and let's know what you think about this submission by this uh, apc group that call themselves professionals